Good morning, story time friends. Miss Lisa here. I am Lisa. I'm the Children's Services Librarian at Aisle Memorial Library. And this is online story time. So we have an unofficial online story time song that goes like this. Online story time, online story time. It's online story time time. I like to sing it super silly though. So let's try again at the count of three. One, two, three. Online story time, online story time. It's online story time time. Wow, am I silly. All right, so how story time works is I let you know today's date. I let you know the theme of the story time. I give you fun facts about that theme. Then we move on. We listen to a song or a story. And then at the end, you get to see a cute craft you can make at home. And you get, you get to see a book display that is available this morning ready for you to check out. So our theme for today, which is Wednesday, January 6th, is soup. Did you know that it is National Soup Month? January is National Soup Month. Thank goodness soup is an actual thing that has been invented because I love it. Did you know that the first soup shop was opened in Paris in the 1700s? So long ago. The first condensed soup was invented by a chemist for the Campbell Soup Company. His name was Dr. John T. Dorrance. That was in the 1800s. Am I really glad that those things were invented because like I said, I love soup. My favorite is potato. All right, well moving on, we're going to listen to a fun song called Stone Soup. If it gets stuck in your head all day, I apologize now. I am so sorry, but it is a lot of fun to sing. Then I'm going to show you the craft you can make at home. You can make your own soup. Just don't eat it, please. And then you'll get to see the book display that's available this morning. They are fresh off the shelves. They are ready for you to check them out. All right, let's move on to Stone Soup. This is the song Stone Soup. It goes to the tune of Farmer in the Dell. The stone goes in the soup, the stone goes in the soup. We'll stir and stir and stir some more. The stone goes in the soup. The carrots go in the soup, the carrots go in the soup. We'll stir and stir and stir some more. The carrots go in the soup. The peas go in the soup. The peas go in the soup. We'll stir and stir and stir some more. The peas go in the soup. The corn goes in the soup. The corn goes in the soup. We'll stir and stir and stir some more. The corn goes in the soup. The tomato goes in the soup. The tomato goes in the soup. We'll stir and stir and stir some more. The tomatoes go in the soup. Now the soup is done. Now the soup is done. We'll eat and eat and eat and eat. Now the soup is done. The end. So last but not least, here is the simple craft that you can make at home. You can make your own soup pot with soup ingredients. I took some plain white paper that was due to be recycled. Using a black crayon, I drew um, a soup pot on the recycled paper and then I cut it out. I did print out clip art for my ingredients, but if you don't have a printer at home, you can draw shapes to represent your, your ingredients for your soup, uh, circles for tomatoes, ovals for corn, 
um, skinny ovals for carrots and peas, um, a round circular, circular shape for the rock. Um, if you have old magazines sitting around the house, you could cut out some ingredients from a magazine for your soup. You could draw your soup ingredients um, if you're a little bit older. Whatever your imagination will let you, think of any ingredients you want and add it to a soup pot. That's what I love about crafts. They enhance the learning for your children. And also crafts are very adaptable. It's very easy to change them based on your child's age levels, their abilities, their likes or dislikes. They're also very easily changed based on the materials you have at home. If you ever need any tips on making some really fun crafts to enhance learning at home, just come and talk to me at the children's desk. I am always happy to help. So like I said at the beginning though, don't eat this. It is not food. All right, let's look at the fun book display that's available this morning that you get to check out first before anyone else. We have, there's a giraffe in my soup. We have growing vegetable soup. We have soup day. One of my favorites is, <gasps> Tiger in my soup. I love this book. It's really fun. We also have mouse soup, Pinch and Dash make soup, and one of my favorite children's authors of all time is Jan Thomas. She is hilarious. And our last book that's available this morning is called Is That Wise Pig? Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.